Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the cryptocurrencies, well, maybe it's not really a good idea to make any forecasts currently at the eve of the elections, so everything could change really fast. Uh, technical picture on the higher time frames hasn't changed too much, so you can see uh, last time and previously in two videos we have considered different scenarios, one of them was to the upside, it's based on the double ripple buy pattern with this arrow we have pointed the, the candle that has confirmed double ripple pattern. It's close above the three by three second close. So if you remember, we uh, talked about this. And uh, by the logic of this pattern, the upward action has to be somewhere in the middle of the thrust to the downside. So it's around 35 area, retesting of these laws. At the same time, we are concerned with the performance. So double repo by its nature is a capitulation of the bears. It means that bears, we need to see the signs that bears have tried to push uh, prices through the lows, treating this as a retracement. But they have failed and bull step in and reverse the situation drastically. Here, we do not see any type of the drastic action. Very small candles overlapping by bars, choppy action, uh, very weak and uh, lazy performance. Market looks heavy here. And that makes me think that this is more indicates as a signs of the bearish dynamic pressure. So if you put the MACD predictor, you will see the trend stands bullish, but price action is not. And for me, especially taking the, in consideration the fundamental background, this is more valuable uh, idea. So I'm, I'm a bit attending to bearish scenario rather than to the bullish. Um, at least on based on the technical factors that we have maybe elections will bring some really drastic changes maybe fed will step in with some statement on december or something that's right everything will change but at the current moment i am not really fascinating with the taking investing position in the bitcoin right now so i still think that we could get more drop if even we suggest the massive dollar devaluation who have said that uh, investors first of all will start buying the bitcoin they will grab the stocks first of all any commodities that have the value and this gold market gold probably as well and only when the really big storages will be full up uh, they will start thinking about more risky assets which is bitcoin so um from that standpoint I also think that Bitcoin will start rising among the latest assets com compared to the other primary assets that usually investors are buying. So on um, the technical side, we have uh, this market still stands inside of this consolidation, although take a look at our bearish action that we have talked about. This uh, reversal bar has been erased with the upper direction and in fact, market start uh, forming the pattern that we discussed. I, I, if you remember, we talked about the possible hand and shoulders on the lower time frame, but uh, it, we have to reshape it a bit. So currently market just stands at the 618 level, as you can see, completed intraday XOP, I will show you, and start forming the pattern. So here, uh, daily trend still stands bullish, but we have to be careful to the patterns that are forming right now on the intraday charts. Uh, this is important as for the bulls as for the bears because if potentially bearish patterns, patterns will be will fail, that will be clear bullish signal. It will tell you that you could try and take the position because market really could start the acceleration further. If patterns will start working, it means that we will go lower, and that might be a really dangerous situation for the weekly double repo because it is based on the 618 support of the whole upper action here. If it will be broken, the double repo will turn to the failure pattern, which suggests further drop below these lows. That's why, as you can see, a lot of stuff now stands on the table, and probably this situation could be resolved on the coming week, just because we will know the results of the elections. We will get the CPI numbers, so uh, it really might be the decisive week currently for the cryptocurrencies as well. So on the four-hour time frame chart, what we have market finally has completed the XOP, our short-term suggestion that if bulls still 
control situation they have to stay above the lows that we have marked in this two weeks ago has been correct as you can see with this performance market was able to stay above it so if you have taken long position your stops probably should not be triggered and as you can see rally has happened to the xop so it barely has not been reached but mostly we could say let's suggest that uh, xop is done so it's very close and now take a look we have the bearish divergence is rising which is appearing right at the daily resistance and here are the pattern actually that we uh, talked about last week but we suggest initially that that should be a shoulder that the head and here is market should form another shoulder you could see that market would have reaching the xop uh reshape this pattern and now all this stuff is becoming the shoulder and uh, that's actually the pattern that we need to keep an eye on uh, for the bears, that will be the important point to consider taking the short position with the stops above the head, suggesting that the market should start dropping lower. Or maybe if here we will get some minor bearish patterns on the 50 minute chart, for example, you could play stop even closer just above the, this pattern, above the right shoulder. And that's it will be the vital point, point for both directions. If market starts action with the hand and shoulders to the downside, this is clearly will be bearish. If uh, this patient will fail, market will start climbing above the right arm and returning back to the head. That will be definitely bullish. And the bulls in this case with the failure of this patient also could consider taking the long position. What it will be, we will know probably to the next uh, video in Thursday. Probably we will get there. So uh, that's actually our view on the Bitcoin. In the current point, guys, uh, market still stands somewhere in a halfway to the neckline. And from that standpoint, it is not a good placement for considering any position because you whatever direction you will choose you will have to place far stop and from that standpoint it will be better to wait uh, for a better entry place somewhere around 21 15 probably where the right shoulder top stands